So now we have another disease that has an incidence rate of 2%. Uh, the false negative rate is 10%, false positive rate is 1%. So let's compute the probability that a person who tests positive actually has the disease. So there's two ways to do this. Let's start with the easy way, and that is to create uh, a table. So now we got uh, positive, negative, disease, no disease. Now, for simplicity, let's imagine that we have some nice round number of people. Let's go with something pretty big like 10,000 just to make sure our numbers work out okay. Uh, so now our, we have a 2% incidence rate. So out of these 10,000 uh, people, 2% of them, or 200 of them, uh, will have the disease. Meanwhile, the other uh, 9,800 of them will, will not have the disease. Now, we have a false um, negative rate of, of 10%. Uh, and so that tells us that that tells us that, uh, 10 percent of these 200 are going to incorrectly test negative. Meanwhile, the other 180 will correctly test positive. Um, meanwhile, we have a false positive rate of 1 percent, and that means that out of our people who don't have the disease, 1 percent of them, or 98 of them, uh, are going to, uh, test um, are going to test positive. Meanwhile, the other, uh, let's see, 9702 of them uh, are going to correctly test negative. Uh, so notice these, uh, these here, these 98 people here and these 20 people here are, are errors, right? So altogether, we have 278 people testing positive. So if we wanted to find out the probability that they have the disease, given that they test positive, then, then we have 278 people who tested positive. Of them, 180 have the disease, uh, and that comes out to be about, um, 64.7 percent. So 64, about 65 percent of people who test positive in this case will actually have the disease. Now there's another way we could go about this problem, and that would be using, using Bayes' rule. Uh, so let's take a look and what, see what that would look like. So Bayes' rule says that the probability of A given B is the probability of A times the probability of B given A over the probability of A times the probability of B given A plus the probability of A complement times the probability of B given A complement. Uh, now in terms of our disease, that would look like, look like this. Uh, so now we can start filling in all this information. So, what is the probability that they have the disease? Well, that is, uh, in this case, uh, 2 percent, right? It's a 2 percent incidence rate. What's the probability that they, uh, have a, get a positive test given that they have the disease? Well, there's a false negative rate of 10 percent, which means there's a 90 percent chance that they'll test positive given they have the disease. Down here, we got, let's see here again, probability of disease, probability of positive given disease, probability of no disease would be 98 percent, and then what's the probability that we test positive, uh, given that we don't have the disease? That's our 1 percent false positive rate. And if we compute all that out, uh, it turns out to be 0 0.018 over 0 0.0278, which comes out to the same, uh, 64.7 percent, we came up use it with using our nice little table. So this Bayes formula has its advantages, but for a lot of cases, working off the table like we did first is going to be a simpler approach.